So my name is Dendani Rachikopa. Um, I'm a third year medical student currently and I'm from Venda Limpopo, a small village. So the degree that I did previously was BHSC, which is Biomedical Sciences. So it's a three year degree. And then in third year, I picked my major, which was Pharmacology. So when I initially applied after matric, I had only three distinctions and I think the rest of my marks were 70s and I think I had 160 in Afrikaans. So I'm sorry, I just don't have the exact because I don't have my transcript with me. But yeah, so when I didn't get into medicine, I was disappointed, but I wasn't very shocked because you know, I felt like the people that were getting in had, you know, all seven distinctions and all that stuff. So I wasn't as disappointed. And so I chose um, biomedical uh, sciences. And when I got to first year, I found out more information on how, you know, you can get into medicine. So then when I repeated um, my second year, I failed everything, right? I failed everything. And that was the point where I felt like everything was crashing down. And the reason for that was that um, in the beginning of the year, I, I, I didn't really have a grasp of the program. I didn't work hard enough in the beginning. So as the year went on, things started happening like deaths in the family and all these things that kept me away from school for a long time. So when I came back, catching up was, it was just a nightmare, you know, and towards the end of the year, I was hospitalized and stuff. So I missed some exams, wrote subs and failed everything. So... When I came back the following year, I just had such a different mindset, you know, I knew what it took to get great marks. So I worked really hard and I exempted, which basically just means that when you get um, 60 and above for each module, then you don't have to write the final exams. So my average in second year was um, in the 60s, it was like 63 or 64 somewhere there, you know. So yeah, then I get to third year and um, I picked pharmacology as my major and I applied for GIMP. So throughout the year, I knew that I had to keep my marks really high. Firstly, it, I, I wasn't even thinking about GIMP anymore because I realized that, oh my gosh, I'm still going to apply. You never know. But like, let me get great marks so I can secure a position in a good um, honors program. So I worked really hard that year and my average was 74, 75, 74 point something. So the, my last, you know, so the, my averages for the last two years was 63, 64 and like 74, 75 for final year. And um, so what I do know is that if you, with regards to writing webbed, if you have exempted in second year, all your um, requirements, then you don't write webbed because webbed for us who did BHSC is basically all um, the second year modules, all the second year courses, mall med, um, anatomy and physiology. So the reason why I think I wasn't invited to write webbed was because I exempted in my previous year. But during the year, I didn't know that that was possible because I was repeating. It's not like I exempted on first try. I exempted upon repeating. But now looking back, I think that is why, because that's the general rule is that if you exempt, then um, you don't write the web because you already have all your marks. So there was no application process. Um, the people that did write web, I don't know if you wrote, but you guys, people get invitations and stuff like that. So if you are exempted, I'm sure you can go to um, Sandra Ben's office or PVT and find out if time is getting close and other people are getting invites, why you're not getting an invite. And they might let you know that it's because you exempted. So there's no application or anything. They basically just don't communicate anything to you except the fact that they have received your your um, application for GIMP. And then, so, yeah, then towards the end of the year or in Jan, actually, then I got the call that um, they are offering me a place in GIMP. Um, so yeah, so my story is definitely very different. So I didn't, so I wasn't pressuring myself so much to get into game because I felt like I, it wasn't possible for me. So me working hard and getting my high marks was for myself, you know. So the advice that I would give um, future gamers is work really hard. Like time, time goes very quickly. So if you just keep 
consistent with the marks that you're getting set a goal for yourself if your goal is 65 and above for each and keep it consistent for each um for each um module so and if you did a bhsc even better work hard to exempt in second year and you don't even need to go through the stress in third year of preparing for that web because you you don't need to write it and you just need to wait for communication at the end of the year to hear if you've gotten in so yeah that that's all i hope this helps everyone that you know has repeated i think that's just the main thing for me was that it was such a miracle and i was just so grateful that I guess for just in terms of advice for the um, those that are applying in the future for gamp i would say focus more on getting good marks for yourself the stress of you thinking about the whole gamp program i feel like that 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 might deter you for me that's what i experienced like i found that stressing about the actual gamp and oh my gosh what if i never get in and all this and i'm not good enough or whatever if you're doing your part on getting great marks then they will consider you you know i feel like that you know the higher the marks the better of course other people will talk about running for council and stuff you know the most social people but for me in my experience it was just working hard for myself on my marks and you know accepting that whenever it happens it will happen and and even if you have failed or whatever for those students that have failed you can pick yourself up and they will still they might still take you like just work hard once you get back up just work really hard make sure your marks are high it doesn't mean it's the end of the world and you will never you know have the chance to become a doctor so i think hopefully my story will um give hope to those that have repeated i know i also used to have questions i used to think it was impossible to get in until it happened to me because i didn't really know of anyone else i'm sure they are there but I I personally didn't know of anyone else that had made it in after repeating and especially the way I'd failed dismally you know so I hope our greatest glory is never in falling but in rising every time we fall if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these thank you to the new subscribers very much appreciated